In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Indescribable Glory For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither hath the eye seen, O God, beside thee, what he hath prepared for him that waiteth for him. Isaiah 64, verse 4. You express a desire for me to describe things concerning the New Jerusalem. I positively decline to do anything of the kind. My powers would be inadequate to do this or even make an approach to it, and I advise you not to make any attempt to have a particular representation, which will carry the impression that it is the representation of the New Jerusalem. The most eloquent representation of the New Jerusalem is but an attempt to present it. Anyone who is dealing with the future unseen world may best describe its untold glories by quoting the words of Paul. I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 I feel that many approach sacred things as though their finite powers were capable of taking them in. There is so large a number that tread on holy ground with unsanctified feet that we are very cautious even in statements that we present to them in regard to sacred and eternal things. Because finite and common ideas become mixed with the holy and sacred, men may try with his entrusted and cultivated powers to represent something of heaven, and he will make a blunder of the whole thing. Your power as an artist will, when stretched to his uttermost capacity, fall down faint and weary and seeking to take in the things of the unseen world, and yet there is an eternity beyond. With these statements, you will excuse me from attempting to portray before you anything concerning the work of the great master artist. Let the imaginations of the people be on the highest stretch to contemplate the glories of the New Jerusalem, and yet they have but just entered up on the borders of the eternal weight of glory that shall be realized by the faithful overcomer. Put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the ground whereon thou standest is holy. This is the very best answer I can give to your question.